my name is Plumby, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a makeover of Daisy Honey Brew. I have been aching to post some more Honey Brew content for a while now, so I'm so happy that the makeover is here. Of course, since Daisy is going to be moving to the city, I thought that she deserved a little bit of a glow up and a makeover because, you know, she's finally kind of following her heart. I think she was definitely in need of a makeover as she was wearing the same <laughs> clothing and the same hairstyle for quite a while so I feel like this was very much long awaited. As I did say I am so happy with how the makeover did turn out. I think it still looks very much Daisy Honey Brew. I definitely didn't want to like kind of change her style around too much because she's always kind of had a sense of style if you will and like what she likes to wear, what clothing she likes to buy so I didn't struggle too much with picking out outfits for her but I think the new outfits definitely do suit her a lot and they still look like something Daisy Honey Brewed wear and I kind of had a lot of custom content pieces and a couple new items that came with packs that I've just been very much eager to kind of give Daisy as they definitely do seem like something Daisy would buy and wear. I would love to hear your favourite outfit of Daisy's that I did kind of give to her today. My favourite would have to be her everyday wear <laughs> or the first one. I thought it was really cute. I love the skirt and the pink top. I adore the new hair that I gave her. I actually gave her two new hairs but I wanted her to actually grow out her fringe because she had a fringe for quite a while and I thought I'd grow it out. I was quite tempted to kind of keep it because there was this ponytail which looked so good on her but it had a fringe and I thought that, you know, she was in need of a change so I didn't end up kind of going with that hairstyle but her new hairstyle is so pretty. I also wanted to kind of post this makeover today so we could have a little chat about what's going to be happening with Daisy in the city and everything. So of course I can't tell you all the details because I don't want to ruin the storyline that I do have planned for her. I thought we could kind of talk about like what her plans are and what Daisy's planning on doing because of course in the last episode she did hop on the plane and in the next episode of Honey Brew you guys will be seeing her apartment and it's going to be so cute. I can't wait. So I actually created her apartment in a live stream a couple months ago now I think. I don't stream anymore on Twitch but when I did I created an apartment for her. It's the cutest apartment ever and it's so Daisy like it feels so much like Daisy because in my head I imagine that she decorated it although Feather is going to be you know living with her for a little while to help take care of Nolan. Daisy still had all the decisions when it came to making the apartment but Feather definitely had a say on Nolan's dream <laughs> so the whole apartment does look very very adorable and I can't wait to show you guys that and I can't wait to kind of see what Daisy kind of gets up to in the city with her job and everything. I think it's just going to be really fun. I will be posting the next episode of Honey Brew. I'm not sure if I'll be posting it this week. I hope I will but right now I'm very busy <laughs> with setting up my new Supernatural Let's Play so I haven't really had time to kind of sit down and film an episode of Honey Brew but I do want to release one pretty soon because <laughs> I feel like it's been a very long while since I last posted another episode but very much looking forward to it it's gonna be incredibly fun and I can't wait to kind of see the storyline I have planned for her play out I know that actually quite a few of you guys aren't too happy with kind of Daisy's personality and who she is um which I actually am quite happy that people don't necessarily like her because when thinking about who Daisy is I wanted to kind of make her into a sim which is quite flawed because I feel like Feather Honey Brew is a perfect sim with no issues whatsoever she's literally an angel and I want I didn't want Daisy to be like that you know I wanted Daisy to have flaws and I wanted her to be a sim which you know I mean not saying that that the honey brew doesn't have any depth <laughs> but I wanted her to be a little bit more depthful <laughs> than a feather. I'm excited to kind of get to explore more of her personality and you know maybe why she is who like she is because I think the more negative sides to her is that she's very selfish. I think that can't be ignored. I think that's the reason why a lot of people don't like Daisy that much um, is because she is a very selfish sim. She does have the self-absorbed trait and although she is starting to become more selfless I think her having Nolan has definitely kind of opened her eyes to that and I think now Nolan is here and now she has the responsibility of taking care of a child. I think that she'll definitely become more selfless. You know, growing up, she was a very much selfish, not really selfish, but she definitely was quite selfish and her decisions have hurt a lot of people and people that she loves. And I think it also comes down to her just not really knowing who she is or she kind of knows who she is, but she doesn't really want to accept herself in a way. And I think that is, as well causes lots of kind of turmoil, <laughs> if you will, in her life. And I am very much excited to kind of see her 
work on that and work on herself when she does move to the city and i think it's just going to be lovely to kind of see her develop into like a better person that's another good thing about kind of moving her to the city is that she'll definitely learn to accept herself more and i think that will be very very lovely but yeah i do like that lots of people do not necessarily love daisy because as i did say i purposely wanted her to be a flawed sim so she had things to overcome and so she wasn't perfect and yeah i love daisy though <laughs> despite her flaws and i know she's done quite a few things wrong i still really do love her and i do feel very very bad for her i've said this before but the re if she doesn't accept herself she is only you know hurting people she loves in the process of like not accepting who she is <laughs> so yeah i do feel a little bit bad for her but i'm excited for her to move to the city because i do have a storyline planned as i did say and it's going to be lovely to just see her grow as a sim <laughs> which is going to be awesome so yeah let me know what you are most excited about when daisy moves to the city like what are you expecting to happen if you have any storyline ideas that you'd like me to incorporate i'd love to hear them as well i love when you guys give me ideas for the story of my sims because i love when we can just all kind of create the story for my sims and my let's plays let me know what you thought of daisy's makeover do you love it do you hate it is there anything that you wish i kind of tweaked or didn't tweak <laughs> let me know your thoughts on that if you did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video